Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. We're going to be using two colours from our brushos. So I've got ultramarine and I've got yellow, which I think the combination work really well together. So it's going to be quite a dramatic scene. My base is the white multifarious card. And again, you can cut this to whatever size you want. The technique will work on whatever size. Um, we've got our water spritzer here as well because we're going to be putting the brusho straight onto the card and spritzing with water. Okay, so let's let's get started. Um, we've got the ultramarine, so I'm popping a little at the top here on one side and on the other. And I'm using the yellow down the center. Okay, I hope you can see how much I've put on under the camera. You only need a very small amount. And I'm going to pop some paper underneath because <clears throat> it can be a little bit messy. Okay, so you can see the blue either side and the yellow. Now we're going to tilt the card and just allow it to run down like so. Okay. So that's exactly how I wanted it to work out, where the blue is predominantly on the edge and the yellow in the centre. Um, and then I'm going to just dry that off now. You need to make sure that it is completely dry before we start stamping. Multifarious card is really nice thick card stock so it will bend back into shape and of course it will take quite a lot of water being thrown at it without it going um, translucent as some cards do which is one of the reasons why I picked this card to always work with. I'm now going to use the graphite from the elements range just to deepen that colour and again just give it that sort of dramatic feel the focus is keeping this centre nice and light we can always add more as we go along but for now that will be fine. And now I've got one of our tote stools here and I'm going to ink that up in the Nocturne. Make sure that that's covered and then we're going to pop that down around about there so it's in the yellow part and that way the black will really stand out well give it a good press and then I've got my mask here I'm going to ground the mushrooms with the graphite And the next stamp we're going to use 
it's one of our lovely little fairies and again I'm going to ink up in the nocturne and I'm going to pop him right on the top Now if you haven't got this particular set of flowers you can use any other silhouettes. And I'm just popping those down like so. some hanging down from the top as well and this time I'm going to ink up in the twilight So I've got our gyp stamp, which I think is such a nice delicate stamp, um, but great for sort of background work. And this time I'm going to ink up in the Versa Mark. And I'm just going to pop that down like so. And I'm going to do one on this side as well. And then taking the yellow pan pastel this time, I'm just going to brush over the top. It's very subtle, but it just picks up that detail you see just in the background. And again, I'm going to dry that off. I'm going to run the anti-static bag over the top I'm going back to the verse mark inking up and this time I'm going to emboss over the top going to use black twinkle so just tap that off and now we're going to heat that up and set it and it just gives it that really nice delicate twinkle without it being too sparkly, too glittery, just nice and subtle. And of course you can add more if you want, 
you can just keep on working with that but I'm quite happy with that effect as it is now. So we're going to add a few orbs now so I'm going to use some of our pastel pencil and just put some dots around like so. And then using the Posca pen, give that a good shake and then just tap the nib a few times till the ink starts coming out. And then in the centre I'll just put some dots. And then we've got our other Oscar pen here. Again, give that a good shake. And then we're going to pop a few little dots. And there it is. So you've got different layers, as I say, with the pan pastel in the background, the yellow over the top of the blue, and then we've introduced the embossing powders over the top. So it's all about layering, which gives it that sort of three dimensional effect. Well, thanks so much for joining me again today guys I hope you've enjoyed today's demonstration and I hope it's inspired you to get the brushos out and have a go you take care and I'll see you real soon bye for now